raining and windy out here this morning. But it's a good Friday morning. Yes, it is. The sun ain't out. A little chilly. But we thank the Lord for another day. Lord God, we thank you for today, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord God, starting us on our way, Lord God, giving us the activity of our limbs, oh God, being able to walk, being able to talk, feel, touch, smell, Lord God. Lord God, and we just want to say we thank you, because didn't nobody do it but you. Didn't nobody do it but you this morning, oh God, and we, Lord God, we just want to say anything that we've done, Lord God, is not pleasing in your eyes, Lord God. We ask for forgiveness, Lord God. We repent to you, Lord God, for we know that we must repent daily oh god daily lord god we must we must repent of this flesh daily lord god we just want to say we thank you lord god for forgiving us oh god and lord god as we go on about this week lord god we just want to say thank you lord god for this friday lord god lord god we know thanksgiving was a week ago lord god we know that christmas is coming up oh god lord god we just want to say we thank you for the many blessings that you brought up on us lord god for we know that you are the reason for the season lord god and we just want to say we thank you Yes, we do. We want to say we thank you, Lord God. If anybody may be dealing with seasonal depression, oh God, that may have lost a loved one in this time, Lord God, I ask that you bring peace and comfort over to them, Lord God. Forgive them, Lord God, for any curses that they may have formed with their lips, Lord God, for being angry, Lord God. Well, Lord God, we just want to say, Lord God, for, for, we thank you, Lord God. We bind suicide, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus. We bind depression right now in the name of Jesus. We bind any spirit that's not like you, oh God. We bind any spirit that's not like you, oh God. And we just want to say we thank you, oh God. As we go on about this month of December, Lord God, allow us to understand, Lord God, that we don't have to put ourselves in debt, Lord God, in order to please others, Lord God. It's okay to say no if you ain't got it. It's okay to stay in your budget. And Lord God, we just want to say we thank you. Lord God, continue to keep us, Lord God, as we get ready to go into this new year, 2024, Lord God. Whatever, Lord God, that we may have up before you, oh God, we ask that you touch it right now in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We ask that you bring it forth, Lord God, miracles, signs, and wonders, Lord God, blessings, Lord God. Lord God, allow us to be able to keep those blessings that you gave us and give us the wisdom, oh God. We just want to say we thank you, oh God. We just want to say we thank you, Lord God. Keep us from all hurt, harm, and danger on the day, Lord God. And we'll forever give your name to praise. Amen. Bernice, now what, what's going on, honey? Because I don't came out here a little bit earlier than what I do. What's going on, honey? Say what? Bad to body work. Oh, you must be out there for the for what what you out there for? They open this early, you know, the mall. The mall don't change their hours, honey. They don't open to 12 o'clock, 11, 12 o'clock, honey. And be closed before before you get out of work. Say what? Uh-uh. Oh, they got some candles out there on sale. They always having to sell on some candles, honey. They know them candles too hot in the first place. $26.95 for a candle, honey. When I can go 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 down to Kirkland's or something like that, Walmart, Target and stuff and everything, and get some for a little bit cheaper. They smell good and last just as long too. Well, I said what I said too, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, honey, you've been out there standing in line for for some candles. Well, give me a couple of them, honey. It seems like you real eager to buy some, honey. I might have somebody come on up there and take me, but I don't know, honey. I don't want to get out in this traffic. It's Friday, too. It's the first. I got to run some errands this morning, honey. When it's my, I know my check don't came in. <laughs> well, you sure know what to say, too, Bernice. You sure know what to say, honey. Huh? You Now, you know T.I. ain't in no Tennessee, honey. He's still in Atlanta. Oh no, cause I would, I would, I would have took him. I would, I wouldn't have did all that, honey. I would have took, took a little switch or something, and that would have been it, honey. Talk about he, he want to go to the bando. Why are you trapping and bandoing, honey? I don't understand these folk. I really don't. I don't understand it, honey. You, you just want to have life hard for what? And you got it easy, honey. When you, well, well, honey, 
Cause we you would have had it like when we was coming up on I tell you what, you would have been warming up your water. <laughs> to take a bath on it. We had no hot water, had to put a pot on top of the stove, let it get warm. And you better you better hope that you put the stopper in the tub, honey. And if you didn't put the stop in the tub, you was really upset. Say what? Well, no, honey, this all this wind out here, honey. Like it's about to snow or something, honey. Well, no, I'm all right, honey. It, it's chilly, but it ain't chilly like it's been been. Say what? Well, well, honey, if that's what he want to do, let him do it, honey. I was like, well, you know, you, you raise him the best you can, honey. You talking about you in the band, though, trapping. Like I said, you don't want to be warming up your water and stuff and everything, honey. You know, and, and we thought we were living good back then. And I, I, so I know if you got a Picasso in your house, I know you live in some type of way. Yeah, I don't know what no Picasso is too, honey, unless they talking about a pizzeria or something. But you know, I'm I'm just saying, it just sound good. Well, Bertie. Say what? No, honey, they they still ain't like, came back over here from that Thanksgiving, honey, trying to figure out who child DNA test all that, honey. And then I came outside on Thanksgiving, cause you know it was a, really a beautiful day. And 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 the neighbors, honey, they they going it. They, I mean, they going at it, honey. She talking about, uh, uh, you don't ever eat my cooking and all this other stuff. He said, you can't cook. He said, but well, then, 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 she said, well, I cook for you today. He said, I don't want to ruin Thanksgiving on the day. You don't invite all these folks over here. We were going over my grandma's house. And she said, well, you can go over your grandma's house. Just don't come back. I said, well, <laughs> baby, you should have took a couple of bites or something, honey, or, or told your grandma to come cook over there. Well, no, uh-uh, honey. No, I'm going I'm probably gonna give me a couple pieces of fish, and I'm gonna warm up some of those spaghetti and them, and them beans and greens and stuff and everything from from Thanksgiving, honey. Ain't nothing wrong with still eating them Thanksgiving leftovers, honey. We cooked it just a week ago, put it in the freezer. I'm gonna unthaw it and stuff and everything. Well, like I said, cause I won't be doing all that for Christmas. Well, I hope I hope they know that, honey. I'm not eating. I'm not eating like that on Christmas, honey. I ate too much. It sure was good though. And I'm trying to still figure out what's going on with me, honey. Got this child over to, uh, to come over here knocking, and he talking about I'm finna go get the chairs, honey. And, and then left, and then come back, Bernice. This happened before you got over here, though, honey. What? Well, Bernie, like I said, honey. Like I said. Uh oh, I talk, Bernice. You, you can't make it up. Here they go again. I just, I mean, speaking of it, you speak them up real quick, don't you? Uh uh. He tell me, he tell me where the breakfast at. She said, go go down there and eat some of your grandmama Thanksgiving leftover. Ain't and ain't nothing wrong with it if some still left. <laughs> well, huh? Nah, Bernice, I'm not doing that to come out there and wait in no line for no candles now. It ain't that serious, hon. I can go on down to the Kirklands or the Marshalls or something. They got a candle. They got a big fat candle for about $9, 8 $9, hon. If I can't make it there, I'm going to try to get there, hon. But I got to run some errands. I got to take care of my business and my bills first. Well, like I said, hon, I'm not finna get out there and wait in no line fighting off no candles, hon. They the only ones don't have a good Black Friday sale. <laughs> Everybody else, I just looked at the price. I know, I know, I'm well, hon. These, 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 pay, these, these, these prices ain't black enough for me, baby. They were a little beige, little, a little, a little tan. They a little tan, hon. Well, they want, they want, they want Black Friday prices for me, baby. They started doing Black Friday back in October, hon. Prices were better than what they had the other day. Well, you sure know what to say, too, Bernie. Yeah, they ain't doing nothing but try to get you out here to spend this money. And knowing you ain't got it, honey. Knowing you ain't got it. And I'm, and I'm not doing all that for Christmas either, honey. If I ain't got it, I ain't got it. But I'm probably going to get 
get the grandkids and stuff some some panties and boxes and then and, and bras and underclothes and stuff and everything yeah some socks because that's the stuff that they need they don't need something they're gonna play with for for a couple of days and then be done with well you sure know what to say too bernie's and they're gonna be just as happy huh just as happy be grateful I mean, Bernice, they still over there are. Tell my my grandma ain't got no more food. I'm sorry, you don't know how to cook. She said, "Well, why you want breakfast?" Then he said, "I'm just hungry." She said, "Well, you better go to uh uh to to McDonald's and Chick Fil A." Uh uh, ain't nothing wrong with them breakfasts either, is it? Mm mm. Yeah. Bert, Bertie, I tell you what, I'm on my way to that candle sale, and if them if them candles ain't on sale like you said it was, cause let me tell you something, I went down there to that Kroger, you told me with them them eggs were fifty cent down there for 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 a, a dozen and a half, on I got down there with five dollars. Then now if I get up here and these candles ain't on sale like you said they on sale, Bertie, I'm gonna get you for some gas, and I'm gonna get you for my time. Well, I said what I said too, didn't. I?